if your man is always going to the gym, there's a reason mm. why. It's not because he wants to work out. If going to the gym, right? He's not been. You don't see any results. Mm. There's a reason why. Right, <laughs> like, right, 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 right. It's, right, it's right. so easy to, to use that D word. Right. Now, you know what I'm talking about? The D yeah, word? yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you know, it. Not, not that D word. <laughs> Welcome to another exciting episode on the Social Path Podcast. Hey, yo, check this out. Yeah. Yeah, hey, fellas, welcome my homeboy. Harry is in the building, repping from Nigeria. Finally, fam, it's your homie, Big Sam from the motherland, Ghana, in the building. Yeah. There's only one winner. Yes. We are creating a path for you to follow. Share and subscribe now. Po, 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 po. That was good. That's good? Yeah. Po, 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 po. All right, all right. Po, po, po. Welcome back, guys. Welcome to the social path. My name is Sam. I have my brother, my one what? and only brother holding it what? down, what? Mr. We're Obama back. J. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Hey, how you doing, bro? Yeah, how you doing, bro? bro? How you doing, bro? Yo, you watch you watch our <laughs> boy, right? That series was awesome. Wait, wait like, did you watch the entire thing? I watched it. You know, I no, no, like the, 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 the final episode. You I watched, watched the final episode. Right, so spo how? spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Right. If you haven't watched Top Boy, just fast forward what we're about to talk about. Yeah, go watch it, man. How Sully died? Yo, I didn't expect that. I know. But I knew he was going to die because, I mean, you kill people with guns, guess what? You're going to die by it. You know, I knew it was coming because right. um, the kid, right? right? He had he had a the gun and he's talking to himself in the in the mirror. In the mirror, yeah. So think about this, right? So his brother, how did his brother die? I mean, he was killed by Sully, and yeah, he's but, sorry. But what I'm saying is this, right? Yeah. When you watch that last episode of, of the last season, yeah. it was a surprise, a shock. So, it wasn't something you were you I were never expected right? that. So, yeah. same thing. So as I'm watching this season, I'm like, yo, they're going to kill Sully. And I'm like, this is how they're going to kill him. Kill him, yeah. The kid, right? right his right. brother is pointing the gun at the, at the, the mirror. mirror yeah, he's he practicing, saying, yeah. you know, trying to be a tough guy. Right, right, right. right. It, it kind of foreshadows how he's going to kill Sully. Whoa. So he points the gun at Sully at the end, yeah, and right. you think, oh, he says it's not worth it. He walks away. But that was good, though. Right? When I watched I'm like, yeah, whoa, that he, is good because he was actually, in my mind, I'm like, wow, because he's trying to teach against us. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. have to retaliate. Yeah, yeah, but you know what he You got to forgive. Yeah, but what, what did the little boy say, though? He said, how does it feel? Whoa. Yeah, think about this. Think yeah, about it. How yeah. does it feel? You, he, he, Sully killed his brother, right. surprisingly, right? Right, right. So he goes, how does it feel? Mm. How does it feel to get killed without being expected? Like, you weren't expecting to get killed. Right. How does it feel? That's, right, that's right. what I was trying to, like, go deep go with deep, what the right, meaning right, was, right? right. Like, you, you're in a position where you're about to get killed, and yeah. you don't know, and then right. you think it's all, it's all good. Oh, it's you, all you, good, you right, 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 right. And then, boom, it happens. Wow. So it tell, and you know what's funny, too? Every right. single drug series or movie there is, right. yo, they never make it. <laughs> of course and people don't don't see it it's like yo like eventually like you're not gonna life make is it. not worth it man nah, nah, it's, it's not, not worth, worth it. it and jamie why did he die because he was the main character yeah he was the, he was he was, he was the yeah, dude yeah, man yeah. you know i heard um drake drake right. was behind everything drake too yeah drake was behind them having like another season so oh, the season yeah. got so the season was actually got canceled and right, this is what right, i right. saw like right the season got canceled and Drake was like, yo, when's the next season coming? And then right, the, right. one of the main characters was like, no, nah, there is no next season. He goes, what? Oh. Nah, there is going to be a next season. So he Whoa, he like did yeah. something. Like he involved he probably, himself. Yeah, yeah. You know, Drake is all over the place, yo. Like, <laughs> It, it, he is. If you listen to some of his music now, like he's trying to do that, like that hip hop. Oh, London that hip hop. Thing, okay, you know that I mean? hip hop. Like, yeah. So, oh no, he's trying to blend UK. Yeah, he, he's the grime. Okay, he, UK they call it grime. So okay. the grime with the hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, but that's um, cool. It's cool though. It's cool, Yo, bro, man. You yeah. know I want to speak some UK accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's hilarious. But you know it's, it's a sad thing right now because, um, bro, yeah. summer's over, man. Ah, oh, that's true, yeah, man. Summer's over, that's man. That's true. And now, not one cookout. For the past two summers, I've right. seen a drastic change. Like maybe it's our generation. Maybe I mean, probably that kind of mean the inflation too. Like yeah, yeah, nobody's yeah. gonna spend money, you know, get yeah. all these stuff. I think after COVID, everybody changed everything. People don't right. hang out as much as they used to. But seriously, like I also think it's like, like technology, right? Like because of technology, I think people are not going out like they used to. Like right. you can see, like I was watching this guy's um Instagram. He's like look for basketball players on the courts. Right. right. He went from court to court to court to court. Right. There's and no kids. There. There's no kids out there. Yeah. Everybody's on their phones. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm telling you, man. 
Life is changing for the better, but for the worse too, because now is, people are not getting is. experiences. I was telling my boy the other day, I'm like, yo, man, when's the last time you saw people flying a kite? Remember oh, kites? Uh, yeah, all the way back. Yeah, we're kites. kites. Yeah, nobody yeah, yeah. flies kites no more. Nobody does it. You know I mean, like, nobody's Whoa. doing hula hoo- hoo- hooping no more. Right, right, nobody's right, right. outside. That, that's all dead, dead generation. It's man. gone, man. It's crazy, Whoa, I remember man. that, like, today, man. Yeah. I remember way back in Ghana, man, we had a whole lot of games. Yeah, you yeah, know, with yeah. the kites, like we we bet who's gonna f- you know f- fly high. Yeah, yeah. Their kites, and then we design it, make it look nice with with a tail hanging out. Yeah, yeah. No, that was the thing. Like, who can design the best the, kite? The best kite. I'm, I'm, look, I'm pretty sure people who are listening to us now even know what right. the hell a kite is, man. That's yeah. how bad it is. You know like, <laughs> That's true, man. This is what we, this is what we we had when we had nothing. We didn't have oh, yeah. video games. Like we have video games, but not like to this yeah, like, right now. I'm yeah, saying like, so. People getting lost in their phones, and it's unfortunate right. they, they lose the experiences that we had when we were kids. Right. You know, right. So, because I watch, I watch this thing I think on Instagram, and the mom was serving them with their iPads as dinner. What? <laughs> yes, yeah, she was serving them. She's like, no food because y'all on your phone twenty four seven. So guess what? You guys are gonna eat that food. Oh, that's not <laughs> they, they actually they, they ate food. Yeah, no, she didn't give them but she, food, but she was trying to make a point. She was trying to make a point. Yeah, yeah, like. <laughs> Nah, but it, look, it's get, it's getting it's getting. I was I forget. I was I was in conversation with somebody else about right. this too. Like, yo, put the phone down for one week. Can you do yeah. that? I mean, I know I can, Harry, but some people can. No, like if if you just try to put the phone down for just one week, oh. what life will you have? What experience would you see? Like, what what are some of the things that you'll be doing? Like, wow. I, I think people are just because look, a lot of people now have a lot of anxiety, right? right? right. And the reason why because you're swiping nonstop, swipe right. it, um, swiping syndrome. Right, right. So your brain is so used to like seeing so many things at yes, once, and yeah. it's trying to process so many things right, at right, once, right. and it's, it gives people anxiety. So my recommendation is right. just put the phone down. Right. Even Tim Cook, right, the guy from Apple. Yeah, yeah. He goes, yeah. Yo, your phone is not meant to be used used twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. Right. So put it down. Right. Mm. Just. You know, go back to ha- living a regular life, life you yeah. know? I mean, he said the phone, they created a phone to help us, but now it's like we are actually helping the phone. Yeah. <laughs> it, it looks like the phone needs us. It's getting out of hand. <laughs> it's getting out of hand for sure. But It um, is, it is. So in relationship, like how do men and women, like let's say if your girl is on her phone 24-7, how do you tell her, honey, put your phone away? <sighs> you take her phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's nah, going to be what? Honestly, it, yeah. Like, you, you know, Communication is everything, like I said, right? We That's said true. this before, right? right Communication right, right. is everything. Like, kind of acknowledge that you're on your phone. You're, you're on your phone constantly. Try, kind of acknowledge that. Hey, look, maybe it's time to, to put it put away. it aside. Well, yeah, if, look, in a in a long term relationship like the marriage, right? Right. Maybe you have time where it's hey, between this hour and this hour, or this mm. time period and this time period. Yeah, we're not gonna touch our phones. Whoa, we're not gonna be forced. To talk. Remember we were talking about big wedding, small wedding? Small wedding. Right. Okay. Hey, right. so I went to a big wedding yesterday, man. It was crazy and popping, Ari. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. should see it, man. It was it was, yeah. was amazing. Again, like I said before, I'm not going to change my tune. I'm team big wedding, Harry. A small wedding because a big wedding is for everybody. You dress up, you do right. all that stuff. But right. like, again, like we're talking about phones. Right. When you come home, mm. are you on your phone? Are you not communicating? And then right. a year from now, you guys having a divorce because right. you guys... Couldn't figure simple stuff out. Right. I feel like people are not willing to work hard to stay together anymore. Right, it's it's right. so easy to, to use that D word. Right. No, you know what I'm talking about? The yeah, word? yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you know, it. Not, not that D <laughs> word. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. The moment you say divorce right. in a relationship, it's over. Yeah. The moment yeah. you mention the D word in your marriage, yep. yo, you know it's it, going down. It's, it's, it's going south. over. Yep. Like, yep. if a woman hears the D word or the right. guy hears the D word, that right. means you guys are destined to fail. So yeah. make right. sure you do not use that D word, right. because again, sometimes you fight so hard f- um, with each other, right. you guys don't actually fight hard for each other. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So right. like, m- be careful with your words because the moment you give that D word life, Whoa. even if you don't mean it, mm. it's now in your relationship. Yeah, it's hanging around. It's, it's, it's just hanging around. around. Yeah. It's, it's hanging around in, right. your, in your living room. In your living room. In your dining yeah. room. In your right. bedroom. Right. And I'm telling you, it, it's subconsciously, you already know it's going to be over because you said it. Whoever said mm. it, whoever said it first, the first, right, is a person that is going to, who planted that seed and then it's going to grow. Right. But so how, how do they, you know, on, on say that word? How do they get it out? 
Um, because now I, I let it out. I mean, let's say we were arguing and something happened. I'm like, I said it some, I mean, without not thinking about it. Yeah. And then I, now I regret it. I'm like, Harry, I'm like, man, honey, I'm sorry for saying that. How do we take it back? How do you take it from the mind of your, your partner? You got to mention it again. Like, oh, I, I didn't mean it. Okay. So it's funny, right? That's a good question, actually. So in my, yeah. in, 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 in my thought process, right? Right. If you said that word and you mean it, yeah. you got to bring that conversation up again. Because you may have said it, right? and then you guys became friends again, and they're all is good, and no more argument. So in your mind, you think all is good, but... Yeah, but because you never really touched on that Touch, topic, yeah, right? it's not going to be somebody in, in either the couple's mind. Right. So have a conversation. Hey, I, I, I know I apologize for using that, that word. Right, right. You know, whatever word, but let's talk about that. About that. Whoa, because whoa. it's going to help your relationship. Yeah. Talk about the things that you guys are not comfortable talking about all the time. Right, right, right. You know, and it's very common. It's a common conversation of, it is. of, of people breaking up because they said something or they did something. Right. Look, I get it, man. People make a mistake. You might cheat. You may, you may, you may, you know, contact uh, an old spouse or an old boyfriend or girlfriend right, and right. You, you may say the words, oh, they listen better or whatever, right? right whatever right. the problem is that you guys right, are having, right. get back together at some point and have a conversation about why they did that. that yeah. Talk about that stuff. Yeah. yeah. I don't agree. Be, don't, yeah, don't I agree, be afraid agree. of talking about the stuff that is going to help you guys grow. Mm. This is going to help you grow. Right, Talk about right, it. Right, right. You know, I have a friend right now that's going through some <clears throat> some bull junk. Oh, you know? sorry about that, friend, wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, he's, again, they just got married, mm. going through some stuff. Right. You know, and he they have they own a complex, so he lives, I guess, on top of uh, like I think the wife lives in the middle, and he lives on top, so they're not even sleeping together. Wait, so, really, bro? This is this whoa, is, that's bad. Uh, but that's how they. they this, so wait, are they divorced? They're not divorced, but they're heading towards like the it. process. Oh, whoa. see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. again, you can either fight against each other or fight with each other. With you know, yeah, fight yeah. for each other. Right, right, right. You know, that's what that's what a real relationship is about. Right. Relationship is not about happiness and going to dinner at some spot and spending mm. hundred and eighty dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, know. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, have it right. Yeah, you have it. <laughs> but it's not about like right. the things that people think. A relationship is like yo, like a good relationship is the ones that you're constantly fighting to stay together. Oh yes, it because is. Work. You guys I would are, say you, because you guys are acknowledge that you guys truly love each other. Each other, yeah. So Willing you want to? Work it out. So it's worth fighting for. Exactly. If you don't, if you don't want to fight for somebody that mm. you 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 walk down the aisle and made your whole life public, right? Man, we gotta re, you know rethink about your choices in life, man. That's that's, that's deep. You know? That's deep. Hey, so guys, welcome, welcome to the social pad. Make sure you subscribe. All right, on Facebook and on YouTube. <laughs> um, this is Sam and Harry on this episode. So Harry is Jim the new strip club. Yo, it looks like it. <laughs> Yo, I just came back from the gentleman's club. AKA, okay, man. I'm the <laughs> AKA LA Fitness, right? Okay, okay. Or any of these gyms, but right, I, right, right, bro. I don't get it. Like, mm. there's a reason why I go to the gym and I try to leave in like 30 minutes. I do my work. <laughs> you know okay, saying? okay. But sometimes I'm there, like, yo, this girl, like, I know you're not here to work out. Oh, okay. You know what I, mean? I know right, you're not right, here to right, work right, out. Right, right, right. Like, you're wearing the most tightest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> like, I mean, it is vulgar and ridiculous, like, for ladies to come to the gym with leggings that are so tight. You might as well just come in naked and then spray paint yourself. <laughs> Lady, if, 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 your man, right? if your man is always going to the gym, there's a reason mm. why. It's not because he wants to work out. If, he has, <laughs> if he's been going to the gym, right. he's not been, you don't see any results, mm. there's a reason why. Right, like, right, 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 right. He's well, just yeah. going to feed his appetite, right? Honestly, it's getting out of hand. Like, right, right. No, again, not, don't get it twisted. Like, who, who are we to tell people how to dress? No, no, right. we're not saying that. You, ladies, dress the way you want. I'm just right. making... But that is gym clothes. Do we have decent gym clothes for ladies out there? But sometimes, it, I know, look, I get it. Sometimes it gives them confidence. Right, you know? yeah. So probably they, they should isolate the men from the ladies. But, As you have a ladies but gym. Then, but a woman can say easily too, oh, a man wears, you know, no sleeves, you know. Because right. cause honestly, they're trying to, everybody's trying to impress themselves right. in front of the mirror. Right. And they're trying to impress the people around them. Right. It gives them motivation. Right. You know? Harry, I mean, I think it's disrespectful and uh, immature. I mean, I don't go to the gym, all right? I'm married. I don't go to the gym. I always, I probably walk outside. I, I, I mean, I do my exercise yeah, you outside. Better try to go to the gym, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't go to the gym because of all this. Because all the these ladies, I go to the gym. Come on, man, Harry. Let me let, let, let me just say this. Let me just say this. I don't go to the gym because of how they dress and all that. Because guess what? If a guy goes to the gym, I come to the gym smelling like a dead rat. <laughs> what? 
Yeah, I'm a man. I go to the gym. I don't take a shower and I smell like that, right? I enter into the gym. Okay, so what you, are the ladies gonna say? So wait, when you go to the gym, you don't you don't you don't take a shower before you No, go I'm just trying to make a point. Like it's just like a lady coming to the gym wearing tight, making men uncomfortable. Yeah. That's the same way. Let's say a man goes to the gym and I come in there smelling like shit. Yeah. How the ladies gonna feel? Bro, go it depends. If you're married, who cares? But guess what? But they're gonna talk about it. They're gonna work out they're gonna work out faster because you smell like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're helping them out. Right. I mean, so like ladies, come on, man. You can put on something nice, go to the gym, you know. Nah, nah. I, I, honestly again, like I'm not I'm not saying wh- wh- how a woman should dress. I'm right. just making an observation. Like, right, 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 right. The gym is becoming a place where it's like it's less is club. less is more now. Like right. you know. Right, 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 right. But it's cool. It's cool. It is. Um, Yo, know, one thing I read about the other day too, and right. I don't know. I, I guess it's worth mentioning because this is a social path, right. right? You know, we try to be up to date with information. This yeah. way, you guys have a, a path to follow. But like, right. okay, so edibles, right? You've heard edibles. You know, yeah. there's THC. Right. You know, Delta Eight. So I read that um, there was a warrant for an inspection for like a hundred different types of edible brands. Brands? Oh, okay. Um, Delta Eight specifically. Okay. okay. And then they were saying that they were they were finding. I think actually somebody died. Whoa! Which led to the, invest, the okay. investigation. Okay. They were saying, you know, they were finding fentanyl. Whoa! And heroin. Oh, that is deadly. That is deadly. Yeah. yeah. They were finding these substances um, in the products. Over a hundred brands. Whoa! So for you folks out there who right. are you know Whoa. using these type of substances, you know, for whatever reason, just be very careful because. It's getting to the point now where people are really trying to have the best, mm. the best drug that people can get hooked on. Hooked up, right, right. Thinking right. it's safe. Oh, it's, mm. it's 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 from a, it's derived from the cannabis, so right. it's not deadly. No, people are doing some crazy things, wow. and they're and they're and they're costing people's lives, lives. You know, and it's getting out of hand. So just be careful out there for yeah. those of you guys um, who partake in that. You know, so right. right. Yeah, well, you're you're a guy. Do you consider yourself a high value guy? I do. Yeah. And why is that? Because of, um, I would say, my integrity level. Okay. Integrity. Right. I always do right when nobody's watching. Okay. That's powerful. Okay. Anything else? Honest guy. Okay. And uh, ambitious. So, okay. Ambitious. Yeah. So, and now, what's a what's a high-value woman, in your in your opinion? Okay. In my, in my opinion, a high-value woman is a woman that is um, creative. A woman that is creative. Okay. You know, she can create something out of nothing right 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 all right nurturing okay a woman that is emotional intelligent okay all right she gotta know when to speak when not to speak yeah yeah that's a woman that i would consider a high value woman. what, what, what about what about sexually like sexual stuff does, <laughs> does that factor in um nah no, you're lying. You're lying. <laughs> hey, my daughter is here. Why, why you want us to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what I'm just saying is right. like um, <clears throat> this conversation, high value men. Right. With, I think it's so irrelevant. Like, how, like okay, a girl will, will see a man that makes money. Right. Oh, he's high value. Mm. First of all, a man or a woman when they when they're busy making money. Right. They're not thinking about you spending their money. Mm. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's their value. It's okay. not, it's high, no, this is my value. Right, right. You know, do you have money? No, then you're low value. Value, okay. But, but in my, so what I'm thinking about a high value man or woman right, right. is a person who's willing to not run away when things get hard. Mm. It, has, it has nothing to do with how you look. Okay. You know what I mean? How right. you dress. Right. Some people are just not fortunate to be able to dress the way mm. you dress. And who's mm. to say the way you dress is the way that everybody should be dressing, right? Right. Or or how you conduct yourself. What it's it's really, hey, what are the things that they're, they're doing right. that is like consistent right. for you to be like, yo, this is what love looks like. Right. But Harry, guess what? When a guy sees a lady dressed flashy in a Mercedes Benz or in a Rolls Royce. Okay. In a man's mind, it's like, damn, this this oh, goes high value. Yeah, but uh, but okay. So what you so, mean? But I can I can tell I can tell I can ask a whole bunch of dudes the questions like, hey, would you date this girl after you've known her? What if the what if the girl is terrible personality, mm. very selfish? Okay. Doesn't want to spend her money. She wants to spend your money. Is she yeah. still high value? But, 
Yeah, she still have. She she doesn't want to spend. Any, <laughs> she doesn't want to spend your. She doesn't want to spend her money. Everybody, she wants to spend yeah. your money. Okay, okay. She's high value. I mean, yeah, she, because she, 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 she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to do anything that you think is worthwhile in the household. No, because she, she has spent a time. Check this out. High maintenance. She spent money on her makeups to look good, to look that good. So she okay. expects you to spend money on her. Okay. High, All right. So this is the confusing thing, man. Okay. High maintenance versus high value. Okay. That is the difference. It, it, it is. There's, there's a big difference between it is. Yeah. high value and high yeah. maintenance. Right. High maintenance doesn't mean you're high value. I know a ton of dudes right. who dated chicks mm. that had the money, they right. had different properties, they, right. they had the looks, right. but they left them. You know why? Because right. they, they, they couldn't gel. They couldn't, mm. they couldn't see themselves with that person. Right, right. And guess right. what happens? Years starts to go by. And mm. these ladies who are like, oh, I'm not going to date this guy. Oh, I'm not going to date this guy. This guy doesn't have this. This guy doesn't have that. Right. Now you're 40 years old. Right. Now, now you got to settle with yeah, You got to lower your expectation. Now, now, you start, now you start lowering your, your expectation. expectation. Right. And now you, you just settle with any random guy that doesn't have anything that you ever wanted. Mm. Mm. So people got to start opening their minds. Like high value right. doesn't really mean like how much money you got. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It, it, right. it should depend on, hey, does this person actually care about what I'm Telling them, right. you know, how much I make is one thing. Mm. How did I make it? Mm. Do you respect how I made it? Mm. If you see the things I'm doing day and night, you know, like five days a week or, or seven days a week. Right. Then you may respect me a little bit more. Forget mm. about how much money I make. Mm. Like the work is crazy. Yeah. So again, a guy sometimes doesn't want to spend this and spend them because girls are just going to jump, jump, jump course to the next person. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. want somebody who's gonna just stay here. <laughs> if I'm broke, are you leaving? Okay. Or are you gonna stick stick with me and then mm. I'm gonna we're gonna figure this out together and then mm. maybe I'll I'll be back where I was. Mm. Like that's that's something that people should be looking for. Right. right you know, these right. are these are old school traits. Right. You know, if you want an old school type of woman, you gotta find unfortunately it's 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 the older generation. Right, right. You know, that's why some men do they'll, they'll date older. Look look right. at not that not 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 that say it's relevant, but look at Sky Pippen's mm. son. Mm. I said Sky Pippen, Jordan's son. Jordan's son, yeah. Jordan Jordan's son is is, is Dane Sky Pippen's ex wife. Oh, who's like I don't know, forty years old. Wow. Or plus, whatever. Wow. So to the to the public, it looks crazy, right? Like especially right. the fact that there's some type of relationship between the the fathers or yeah. whatever. Yeah. But there's a maybe it's looks I don't know but there's something beyond that maybe it's her mindset right, right. maybe he's just tired of the young girls and, girls, the, way, and, yeah. and the way they think yeah you know I mean, sometimes yeah. you date older sometimes men date older because they get that comfort from mm. those individuals right, you know of right. older age and right. and that's what makes them happy mm. you know yeah. so yeah yeah look times have changed mm. you know times have definitely changed you know I mean I always say. To, to our viewers watching, you know, it's, it's best to have a high value mindset. Yeah. It's best to have that than to have high value material things. No, it's a fact. Because um, material things don't last, man. The moment, last. the moment you buy new clothes, the next year is no longer relevant. Yeah. The moment yep. you buy your car, do you see, you know, two years from now, you go, damn, man, my car is now. <laughs> It's kind of rounded yeah. than I thought. You know, it's kind of, the, the, the color's faded. It's faded, you know? yeah. And it's a scratch. It's oh, God, I got a new yeah. one. Yeah. You get so you see, what was his name? Dan Blazarian. Okay. I was watching his podcast, or right. he was on the podcast. Right. This is a dude who has all the money in the world. Mm. He's party like crazy. He's done right. every single drug. And he was talking about how, like, you're never going to actually be happy because once you test one thing, like, yeah. like he, 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 takes a, he takes an illegal substance. Right. He gets he gets high, high, yeah, and then he needs to keep taking them mm. to chase that to high, keep up, right? Yeah, just yeah. He he's been with all, all these women, right? He needs to keep doing that. It, it got to a point where he's like, "Yo, like, what am I doing? Like, this is man, not." He need Jesus, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he was making a point that right. like all these things that we all fascinated about, right. we all chase, we all think it's gonna be like the thing we all want. Right. Once you get it, then what else? It's, it's not that big of a deal anymore. Right. It's not. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. value the things that actually have value. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A party, mm. going out to events, mm. you know, paying, you know, 
for expensive meals or come on or, harry or, you, 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 <laughs> what happened I'm this weekend nah, nah, do you have any experience no nah, i'm just joking <laughs> but harry uh, so when you take a lady out right right what what is the budget you know as a man all right what is your budget range if you're if you're taking a lady out yeah and you're a single dude right right because you right. Cause you can be taking a girl out but she can right. be your wife or wife, your right. girlfriend yeah, yeah. Budget between a hundred to one hundred and forty dollars. Okay. Now, if it's your wife, you guys. Is it a day? Yeah, dates are, bro. A date. This is why I'm telling people, like, yo, if you're if you're, <laughs> if you're in a relationship and you guys are having a hard time, right? Fight for that hard. Fight for the relationship, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> Once you're back out in, out there in the streets, yo, us, us dudes, you're gonna be spending a hundred to one hundred and forty dollars right. every day. Woo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two drinks, two right, two drinks yeah. each. Yeah, a meal, maybe a dessert. Mm. Bro, that's in a good restaurant, good yeah. environment, good yeah. place. Yeah, yeah. you spend a hundred, hundred forty dollars. Whoa, that's great. That's like food shopping. The whole you can get a whole food grocery. That's why for the whole week. That's why you gotta fight for your relationship. Right, don't just give it up. Whoa, that's don't true. Don't give up man. your relationship so easy. Yeah, but sometimes you want to, you know, make it work, but your partner doesn't want to. She she's made up her mind to go. What let do her, you do then? Let her go. What you mean? Like I don't want to start over, Harry. See, that's and I need same. you. I'm like, baby, I okay, need you. Okay, so why are you fighting for her then? Because I believe yes. relationship marriages work. Yeah, but you okay? I'm saying fight for your relationship. Yes, right. Work hard. Yeah, but if you're gonna just fight because you don't want to start over, then mm -hmm. let it go. Mm. I mean, it's hard for me to let things go. Like. I'm always hooked up with stuff. Like, it's hard for me to let go. Again, know the so, reason why you're fighting. If mm. it's just because I don't want to start over, right? you're not in a relationship of love. Mm. You're you're in a relationship of fear, of mm. being alone. Right. Insecurity. Or, 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 or going back out there and, and, and doing this whole process over again. Okay, right. Why are you fighting with your relationship? Mm. What is the point? Like, what is it that, that is making you so pissed off? Why can't you just say, you know what? This person's somebody said somebody said something the other day too. Right, um, right. If you want a relationship to work, mm. evaluate the support system mm. with that person. Ooh, what does that mean? So, if I'm arguing with the girl I'm with, mm. let's just say I, I'm married, right? Let's right. say I'm married. Right. If I'm 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 married and I'm and I'm arguing with my wife, mm. the person I'm gonna call is who? My maybe my family member, right? right. Or my friends. friends. I'll call my right. friends. Right. right. My friends are gonna be defending me all the time. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Now, look, some if if you're a good friend, mm. you gotta put your boy in his place. Oh, yeah, you gotta tell him like, yeah, yo, yeah. this is a girl who she works hard for you. She gives you this. Right. She does this, and you're and you're mad, bro. Man up. Say you're sorry. Right. You're wrong. Right. Go apologize. Apologize. Yeah. Same thing for the woman. But a lot of people will tell their story in their favor. They will tell you the story in their favor. Like, oh, she did that, she did that. Of but course. not knowing maybe it's their fault. No, that's true. That can happen. You know, so how... No, that's true. Yeah, how are we going to advise but again, me, you know? Get deep, though. Get mm. deep. If you're a friend, ask deeper questions. Because right. I have friends who, they'll check me. Right, right. They'll be like, hey, you know, I, look... My 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 boys will always look out for me, and they'll they'll oh. ask, they'll keep asking the questions because right. they know my type, they know who I am, <laughs> they, they, they know Mr. how Obama I am. J, okay. Yeah, they know they know how I am. Right, so right, they'll, right. They'll, they'll they'll deep dive like, yo, uh, are you sure? Is, sure? Is, is there anything else? And mm. then if 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 I get deeper into the conversation, they go, hey, you know you were wrong, right? Mm. Like I would see, they won't just say you're wrong, but they'll say I would see it in a different. Yeah, perspective. perspective yeah you know and same thing for a woman like a woman's gonna run to her girls and then her girl's gonna be like no just leave him he's not nothing he's you know mm. he's this he's that you know right. he doesn't do that oh my right. god right. meanwhile they're single as hell so they, they don't know exactly yeah but again if 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 the friends defend the dude mm. now the lady can get a different perspective about right. the situation that they were they were in and why right. they were arguing right. and now they can come back to each other and be like you know what i see your point oh, you know what i see your point let's yeah. let's make up wow. People don't have this, yeah. you know. And again, this is something I saw on, on social media. This is not coming oh. from me, but like, I, so I, you I, should choose your friends wisely, then, man. You gotta make your sure friends, that when yeah. you're, when you're, they when, can have great impacts when you're relationship. When you're talking to somebody, right? Evaluate their family and have evaluate friends. the friends. Whoa! Because when you date somebody, you're dating the friends, you're dating mm. the family, you're mm. dating all these people. Ooh. Whoa! That's crazy, guys. I hope you are learning a lot. So, Harry, man, you made me spend fifty bucks trying to get a haircut. <laughs> like these barbers are charging so much. Yo, you know, I'm seriously. <laughs> like, what is going on? I'm about to. 
<laughs> no, seriously, what is going on, yo? It's crazy. Like, and I'm tired of seeing social media like, oh, it's cool to spend a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars on a haircut. A thousand dollars? Yeah, I saw, people spend that. I, I saw Diddy talking about that the other day. Oh, I spent Whoa, $1, bro, that's no, crazy. You, you're teaching people the wrong things. Like <laughs> a haircut used to be twelve dollars. Exactly. Yeah. A shape up used to be eight dollars. Eight dollars. Yo, a shape up. First of all, I know people are gonna be like, "Oh, you're bald." Yeah, <laughs> I get my beard done sometimes. You know what I mean? And yeah. I, I spent like twenty five bucks on this. I'm Whoa, like, that's crazy! Like, what's going on? What's going on, man? Is it inflation or what? It's, it's America. I mean, people man. are taking advantage of it's inflation, America. man. It's, it's America, bro. Everything is going up. It's America. That's why people want. Look, for those of you guys who want to run to America, right? You know, it's crazy out here. It is. It's expensive. Man. Out no here. way it's safe. <laughs> it's it's expensive out here. Like it is. Again, for international folks who are watching, you think America, everybody's rich. No, we are not rich. Mm. It, like the the cost of 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 regular stuff is is right. inflated to the point where it's like we're all on the same even playing it, field. Exactly. That's you know what true. I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's you, crazy. Yeah, it, is, it is crazy. When you sit down to do the calculation, it's it's the same thing everywhere. I don't know what's it's going the same on. Thing. It's yeah, the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, I'll advise you guys, go get a, a machine, haircut machine, and do it yourself, man. I used to do it for eight years. And Harry, my boy, too, was like, man, go get a haircut. I went to the barber shop, and he was like, I, I was done. So I was I was thinking 10 bucks. The guy was like, 40. I'm like, damn, 40 for what? Yeah. This haircut, I'm bald, man. Like, what did you do? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Man, it was crazy. It was crazy, that. man. All right, so Harry, circle back. It's Jim, the new strip club. It's where people are going every single day to, again, you know what I don't understand, man? People don't talk to nobody. Like, people go to, to, to like, common places like the gym. Right. And you, everybody works out to the best. This is, this is a place where everybody's in, you know, either they're working towards getting in shape. Yeah, towards a goal. Yeah. Or they're already in good shape. In shape, yeah. Uh, and probably a lot of people are single because that's what single people do. Right. We right, like to yeah. stay in shape and then <laughs> meet somebody, right? Right. But, but nobody nobody's talking in the gym everybody's That's afraid true. everybody's yeah. afraid of rejection like right right you, you miss every shot you don't take right, right so like right. so how, how do you approach a girl who's bad in the gym like damn this girl is bad how do you approach her like damn baby how's the way <laughs> is that how you start nah oh, how do i look it, it, <laughs> i'm not look every, every every advice is different okay you you gotta be one first be confident and two okay. like don't do it like if you're gonna talk to somebody. Don't do it while they're in routine. Don't do it while they're in the gym. Maybe w maybe when they're about to leave. Okay. Right. So you stalking them now? Nah, I'm not saying. Stalk them. <laughs> I'm not saying stalk them, but like find a like a good time. There's a, there's a time you you should know when a time to talk to somebody. Right. You know. Um, I no, but that. Harry, no, because like I always think about it because many people go to the gym, like you said, and they don't communicate with each other. It's like quiet. You see girls, guys, everybody's busy working out. You know, so how do you break that? Now, nah, you know what you could do? Ask for a spot. Okay. Hey, you mind if you spot me real quick? I'm going to do a quick second. Can you help me spot? Ooh, okay, guys, ladies. Okay. Then find that time, that little window mm. to talk. Okay. You, you know, breaking the ice, right? right. Where are you from? Yeah. Right? Yeah. You you work around here, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. simple, simple, simple conversations. Right. There's a book called uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Okay. Um, that's a good book. Okay, I'll, I'll check it out. Um, uh, there's another book I, that escapes me, but like, yeah, it's 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 break the ice. Just mm. have conversations, have have questions in mind to ask somebody. But right. if I'm gonna give a recommendation, it's hey, right. can you help me with this spot? Okay, and that's don't go to the gym, man. I don't go to the gym. <laughs> you, man. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, I've yeah. never been to the gym in like a long time, man. But I, I still look good, right? Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. Sure. I still need a six pack. You, you got to ask your wife. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man, my boy. How do I do? I need to lose some weight. Just have a routine, man. Yo, yeah. I was talking to my brother about this too. Like, there's right. countries where people are always in shape. What? Yeah. America, everybody's in shape. Is that what you mean? No, there's countries. Okay. Where people are always in shape. Oh, and, what and, country? I forget. I think it was like I think it was like Asian countries because, right. because I mean Africa guys, you go to be shit oh, because yeah. of the sun. I yeah, mean it's hot, right. it's blazing hot. Yeah, it's hot all the time. <laughs> no, but seriously, like like right. like okay, African countries too. Right, right, right. right. There's places where in Africa you people are always in shape because of yeah. the heat, whatever. The heat, yeah. yeah. But there's places where you're forced to walk up hills all the time. Oh yeah, that was where right? I was living. Yeah, in Ghana we lived on a hill, so you're, we always you know people don't have money like that, so they're right. walking all the time. Right. Some of the chairs 
in different countries are lower, so make, mm. which makes you like uncomfortable. O- almost, well, it makes you have to expend, lift up, expend more energy to get up. Oh, okay. So there's things you can probably do in your home where you can right. change some stuff up, right? And then um, you're you're constantly, you know, yeah, you're not you're not thinking about it, but you're right. working out, working out, right. you know. But oh, but always have a routine, man. Like mm. if you if you walk, if you walk two miles a day, a day. That's what sixty miles in a month. Month, yeah. Think about that. Mm. So that's a just lot. just just break it down to the to to math. Like mm. do the simple math. Like right, right. you don't gotta be Rocky Balboa, you know, <laughs> against, you know training for Apollo Creed. Like, right, uh, like right, take right, it right. like just do simple stuff every single day. I remember when I had back surgery. Right. Coming out of, coming out of back surgery, I think I weighed like. But how how is it? How is it now? Oh, my back is good. My back good? is good. Yeah, yeah. For those of you guys who are afraid of spinal fusion, it's, um, just make sure you go to the right doctor. I had a good right. doctor. Right. Um, but I weighed, I think I weighed like 192. Okay. Going into surgery. Right. And then during like the whole rehab stuff, like mm-hmm. I weighed like 175. Oh. And I wasn't, obviously I'm not running. Right. 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 I'm literally just walking every single day because mm-hmm. I wanted to get back. So I was walking every single day. Mm-hmm. Um, and then each each day I would walk longer and longer and longer. Right. You know, the first day I think I did like a quarter mile. Right. Then then like two, three days later I was doing um, half a mile oh, and then a right. mile and two miles, right. you know. So just as simple as walking. Right. You, know? you know, the last time I was thinking, I was like, if there was a machine where you can, it would just, you would just go into it, exercise, and then they will numb your brain from feeling the pain. Maybe that will help for a lot of people. Yeah, it's called cocaine. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like nah, people want to no, lose weight, nah, but they don't want to work hard. Actually, no, there's a drug that people have been abusing. Well, abusing. It helps you lose weight? Yeah, it's the drug is for people who, are, who have diabetes. Okay. So it it, it it cancels out your appetite. Oh, your appetite, okay. So people who don't have diabetes have right. been taking it. Oh, you know, I think the company, uh, I think it's Eli Lilly who makes it. Okay. Um, so for you guys who want to buy stock, Eli Lilly is a good company. <laughs> but um, yeah, right, it, right. It, it kills your appetite and people mm. start losing weight. So I'm telling you, maybe in in the future, who knows? You'll see a lot more skinny people. Oh man, tell yeah. me, man, I would probably try it because we want to lose weight. Want to look good, man. Want to live long. That's the goal. It is the goal. Live long. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, a friend told me, he was like, guess what? If you love your family, make sure you live long on earth to be with them. Look, health is wealth, you know? It is. I always try to tell my parents too, you know? I hope you guys are listening. Be healthy, you know? Yeah. No more. We cook, you know, Africans. African, man. man. There's oil and there's oils. And buying this. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah, carbohydrates, like, everything, man. You know, I mean, don't, I mean, don't get it wrong. Like, we yeah. have healthy food, but sometimes right. we just cook with too much oil. So. Mm. We have to be conscious about the stuff that we eat. You know, right? It takes it take one week to just eat like oatmeal, right? Or something. You know, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> one week sacrifice. Maybe you, you know, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I was thinking about. I was like, I think that is why Africans we are always relaxed when it comes in. Let's say work wise, our work ethics. Mm-hmm. Because I think sometimes because of the food that we eat. It makes us relax. We take things slow. Yeah, because like, you know, I'm like we I, need I, to. Well, when you say relax, you mean like it, it slows you down. It slows you down. Like it yeah. makes you feel so. But it's so, it's so good though. It's so it good. is so good. It's so good. And the size that we eat in big bowls, like Africans, yeah. we got a little bit. Yeah, the, the way we eat, it, 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 we we gotta have. You know what, Harry? I'm gonna start a revolution yeah, with African ahead. foods. Okay, go ahead. We're gonna fight big bowls. Oh, big portions, you mean? Big portions, yes. Yeah, redu- but, <laughs> reduce, but but re- that is going to help us. I believe it. Yeah, it's going to help us tremendously because we eat. I mean, Harry, Harry let me tell you: when you go to Ghana, you you see the size, the circle, yeah. this dimension. That is a, the bowl that men are sitting out to eat in. And you know what? I think over time, right. so younger, I can eat for three. <laughs> now I can barely eat for one, man. Like okay. I, I've I've cut my portions down right, crazy. Right, but, right, right. but going back, a goosey man, a goosey soup. Man, it tastes so good. Woo! I, I think, Shout I, out to the guy. I, I, I think Nigerian food is better than than guy. I, I think it's don't true. say this anyway. We, we gotta do. We gotta do a taste. One of these episodes, we're gonna right. do a taste test. Uh, okay. We're gonna go around. Okay. And we're gonna have people taste Nigerian food. Okay. Ghanaian food and see which one's better. Wait, wait, wait. You know, let's specify. Is it Nigerian jollof? Are, are we talking about? You know, uh-huh. let's do jollof. We are going to beat you down. Ghana has the best jollof in the world, guys. I'll just say this. My mom makes the best jollof. But okay. anyways, <laughs> Ghanaian yeah, jollof, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I agree, Ghanian agree, jollof is very good. 
It, I'm not gonna lie. That's it. Right. Game over, guys. No more. It's, you just. No, you no, just, no I'm, I'm not, but I'm not. But that's one, 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 one. What we're talking about? <laughs> rice. We're talking about the whole thing in general. Okay. 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 Jollof rice. Sure. You just confirmed it. Ghanaian has the best jollof in the world. Yeah. That's it. Case closed. Now, now all African food is good though. Ethiopian food, my goodness. Right. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. But I mean, I haven't tried Ethiopian food. You are, then you are lucky. You are one really? of the lucky ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to leave it like, oh, my goodness. Well, you should take me to the restaurant. Do they have any restaurant what? around? Man, I hope my boy's not watching, but my God. Ethiopian food? It's different. Really? It's different. What do they use? What ingredients? Uh, no ingredients. No, ing- no, no taste. <laughs> <laughs> they don't cook it half the day. It's raw. They don't, sometimes they don't cook it, man. Oh, yeah? What? Just raw like that? Bro, it's different. Whoa. That's some crazy and stuff. I'm African. Bro. I'm eating the food. I'm like, yo, is this fear factor? What are we doing? Right. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Yo. It's a fear factor. <laughs> Huh? You trying to win that Guinness, Guinness Book of Record? Okay. Um, again, if, if I'm, if I'm, um, I'm not trying to be, you know. Yeah. It's just it wasn't my cup of tea. Oh yeah. It okay. wasn't my cup of tea, man. Man, I think Italian and uh, Mexico, they got the best food in the world. Uh, Italian food is great. Mexican food is good. Yes, they have. I, the I think. Best I think. I world. think Japanese cuisine. Asian, that I think. Too. I yeah. think Asian, Asian, a- too. Asian, yeah. Asian cuisine. Yeah. I think yeah. it's the best because they, they just so much. Right. You know, you have your sushi. There's right. just so much. It right. is. It is. It yeah. is. It is. It is. Yeah. I'm not, you know, yeah. guys, let us know what you think, man. What you think? Which country has the best food? Let us know. All right. All right. So, Harry, do you want to say anything before we wrap this up? I know we had a good time. Like I said, like I said, you know, for you guys in relationships, right. yo, know, keep fighting. Mm. You, know, you guys. You guys fought with each other for so, for such a long time. It's time to fight for each other. Whoa. You know, take your time. Every argument is not that big of a deal. You mm. know, you know, there's a solution to every problem. Find it, work it out, and be happy. I mean, there's nothing wrong losing. That's that's my word. Sometimes you gotta lose, man. You lose to win. All right, guys. So please make sure you stay tuned to the social path. Shout out to our team. Shout wait, out wait. to Evita. What, Shout what, out to our whole crew. What's what? the next episode we're talking about? <laughs> the next episode? Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you want us to say the topic? Yo. No, next. guys should stay to you for that. Now, nah, well, I'm, I'm going to do a spoiler. The, ne- the next episode is... Okay, okay. Should you... Mm. Or should you be allowed to check your spouse's or your girlfriend, boyfriend's phone? Whoa. That's, that's a deep should topic. Should you be allowed to check the phone? Stay tuned, guys. You'll, stay tuned, you'll guys. See. Stay tuned. All right? We're going to see you next time. Please make sure you subscribe. Hey, subscribe, subscribe. All right? We love you. This is your homeboy, Big Sam. And I have my boy, Harry, in the building. Take care. Peace out. Peace out, guys. Yeah. There's only one winner. This is. We are creating a path for you to follow. Share and subscribe now.